How to set up a point-to-point -point network with the Trio J Data Radio. The trainee will be able to create a point-to-point -point radio network using two Trio J Data Radios for exchanging data over the air with a license-free frequency. Antenna Connection Bench testing is typically performed over short distances so RF signals need to be significantly attenuated. Using dummy loads or whip antennas is not recommended. A suitable method for attenuation of RF signals is to use a 4-port RF attenuator. An attenuator accurately reduces RF signal level, simulating a real-world, long-distance RF link. Other types of RF attenuators can be used providing the total attenuation is between 80 dB to 100 dB. Check the attenuator power ratings against the configured transmit power of the radio. DC Power Connection Ensure each radio is wired using the correct polarity and that power supply is regulated and has adequate current delivering capacity. For other power supply options please refer to the user manual. Apply DC power to the radios. The radio will begin a boot up process. This process can take up to 2 minutes. Once the boot up process has completed, the PWR LED should be solid green. Establishing communication with the Trio J data radio. Ensure the Trio J data radio has been factory cleared. The factory default IP address of the J data radios is 192.168.2.15. You need to set the IP of your PC in the same range, for example 192.168.2.10 and default subnet mask. Connect your PC Ethernet port to one of the Ethernet ports, to verify you can communicate with the JR240, you should first ping the radio. Open up a command window on your PC by going to Start. Click on Run, and type CMD. Then press OK. Now type Ping 192.168.2.15, which is the default address of the radio. The radio should respond to the ping. Radio Access Point Configuration Using a Web User Interface WUI. Start your web browser and insert the IP address of the radio into the URL. In this case, type 192.168.2.15 and the configuration page is now displayed in the browser. Browse to the Wizards section of the WUI by clicking on Setup and then click Wizards. Select point to point with access point and click. Start the wizard. The wizard now prompts the user to configure the minimum parameters to achieve point to point operation. For each configuration item help text is provided on the HTML programmer interface. Connection type, static IP, IP address, 192.168.2.1, subnet ID, trio. This is simply the name of the wireless network, all radios will need the same subnet ID. Trusted Remote, 404502, this will be the serial number of the remote radio you are trying to connect to. After configuration of all items are complete, activate the configuration by clicking on the Activate Configuration button in the top right corner. If you are manually specifying IP addresses, ensure you record them for future reference. You will need to know the IP address of each radio in future steps. Radio Remote Configuration Using a Web User Interface WUI. Start your web browser and insert the IP address of the radio into the URL. In this case, type 192.168.2.15 and the configuration page is now displayed in the browser. Browse to the Wizards section of the WUI by clicking on Setup and then click Wizards. 
Select point to point with remote and click Start the wizard. The wizard now prompts the user to configure the minimum parameters to achieve point to point operation. For each configuration item, help text is provided on the HTML programmer interface. Connection type, static IP, IP address, 192.168.2.2, subnet ID, TRIO, this is simply the name of the wireless network, all radios will need the same subnet ID. After configuration of all items are complete, activate the configuration by clicking on the activate configuration button in the top right corner. If you are manually specifying IP addresses, ensure you record them for future reference. You will need to know the IP address of each radio in future steps. Testing the communications. Wait for the Trio J data radio to restart and navigate to the new IP address. Browse to the packet transmission test section of the WUI by clicking on Diagnostics and then click Packet Transmission Test. Enter the serial number of the entry point radio and set the number of packets to 1000. Observe the LED patterns on the transmitting and receiving radios. When complete, observe the commissioning record. Hit the Start button on top right. Note, you can also try to ping the entry point radio via a command prompt. The response times will be longer due to the over-the-air transmissions. Now you know how to set up a point-to-point -point network with the Trio J Data Radio. Thank you for watching. For further information please visit www.schneider-electric.com or contact your local Schneider Electric representative.